G buys miscellaneous quick tips. Logic Pro X Alchemy. What up, people in the place to be? It is I, G5, back with another video for the. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about alchemy and how to do a little bit of automation. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Logic Pro X. The goal of this quick tip tutorial slash informational video is to show you automation using the levers and knobs in Alchemy. So let's go. All right, so I already have Alchemy on this track, this track, this track, and this track. Okay, so I'm gonna click here to bring it up. Now, if you'd like to have access to this panel down here, press B on your keyboard. If you notice, you only see the delay and reverb, which are here. But if you want to see everything, click here, put your arrow here until you see the up and down arrow, pull down, and you have access to the rest of the panel. The only things that you won't have access to are these things here, all right? So whenever you move this, this will move, vice versa, move this, this will move, all right? Also, if you put your arrow on this knob, and if you have a mouse with a wheel on it, when you move that wheel, you can move that, but the increments are much greater versus if you move, uh, put the arrow here and move the wheel, the increments are much smaller. Just keep that in mind, all right? Also, if you look at the bottom left, you'll see these three words here, performance, arpeggiator, and effects. These are actually tabs. So if you click here, you'll open up the uh, arpeggiator section. And if you click here where it says mode off, it is not turning it on, it's just selecting it. But to turn it on, to have access to these uh, knobs here, you have to move it up at least one or higher. And now you'll have access to these functions here. You can automate these also. You can click on effects and you have access to these parameters here and you can drag this bar over to have access and you can automate those things also. So I'm gonna click here. When you automate in Logic Pro X and using Alchemy, you could either click, if you wanna do it this way, click on these squares, okay? Or you can put this in the middle and you have a little bit of all four of these sounds. You can also automate any one of these knobs by just moving the knobs itself or any of these parameters. So I'm gonna press a note on my MIDI keyboard. I have this selected. So if you notice, that's this one, this one, this one, this one. But if I put it in the middle, you'll hear all four, okay? Same thing if I just wanted just to do uh, one knob and automate this. Okay, you can do that also, all right? So what I'm gonna do is do an automation right here. So how do you do it? Press A on your keyboard. Here, click where it says read and go to latch. Okay, now when you press the space bar on your keyboard, it's going to automatically start recording whatever movements that you make. You don't even have to press record, okay? So here we go. Okay. All right. So in order to get back out of this, make sure you click back here and go to read so that you don't make a mistake and uh, record any additional information. Click A or press A on your keyboard. So now I'm going to play this back so that you guys can hear how and see the automation that I've done on these tracks here. Here we go. So I have automation on this track here without me, but not on this one. But I'll move this one around so that you guys can hear the different sounds, okay? Uh, 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 uh. That's this one, the top one. No automation here. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Last track that we just did, hit the automation on this track. 
All right, and that's pretty much IT. That's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video and like to see more music related videos like this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace. Adios. Yo, did you hear that beat by G5? Yeah, I know. It's what everybody's saying. He's a bad mama chama. Yo, did you hear that beat by G5? Yeah, I know. It's what everybody's saying. He's a bad mama chama.